it's me, Annie and Brakaris on the Code and Bird channel. And yesterday we were talking about uh, how to make uh, AWS Lambda and create an SVG, uh, and also how to invoke it uh, with uh, API Gateway. And today we'll continue the AWS topic, and I will uh, show you how to save the SVG that we generated in Lambda in uh, cloud storage on AWS. Are you ready? So here we stopped yesterday on uh, our Lambda uh, that we were invoking by uh, Postman through uh, API Gateway. Uh, and uh, this Lambda returned us an SVG code. So uh, what do we want to do now is to save the file in uh, S3 storage and return a link to this file instead of uh, the markup. Okay, so let's check if it's still working. Yeah, it returns our SVG. Uh, the only thing is actually missing here is uh, an uh, SVG standard. So let's just add it to our Lambda. The missing part of SVG tag should be, it just must be there. So, okay, um, what do we need to do now is uh, to create a new S3 bucket. Let's search for it. Again, we click this nice orange button to create a bucket. Um, our bucket name will be SVG bucket. I just think I will make this bucket public for now. Jakaris, where are you going? Where are you going? You not agree with the bucket to be public? Hmm? Yeah. Jakaris, would you like to sit on this arm, please? No? You prefer this shoulder? Okay. I don't know why she doesn't want to turn to camera. Maybe she just uh, shy today. Okay, let's go back to our bucket and create it. After we created our uh, bucket, we need to grant permissions uh, from for our Lambda to access this bucket and to save uh, files into it. Uh, to do it, uh, we will use this article from AWS website. I will leave the link below the video. To uh, give to our Lambda function access to the bucket, we have to do the following. Uh, to go here, this is an article from AWS where uh, they explain how to grant permissions. I will leave the link to this article below the video. So we need to copy this code for S3 bucket policy here. And, ah, yes, of course, I need to replace this to my actual name of my bucket. And uh, this should be the name of the policy that your Lambda uh, uses. You can see it under the configuration tab. This is the role name. Uh, you just click on it and you can copy and paste it here, now it should work. No. Why? Invalid principle. It should be this way. No, I don't think so. Okay, I'm a bit sleepy and I'm doing stupid things. Okay, so we added our policy to bucket. Now we should add a permission to our Lambda row. We already clicked on it here. So click on the attach policies, search for S3 and just grant the full access to your Lambda. And I think that's it. Now 
let's try to access our bucket we will need AWS SDK and to help us to connect to the lambda and we create an S3 now instead of uh, passing SVG to our response uh, we will save it to the bucket we will create an object with the data bucket is our bucket name region here you should of course uh, type your region and what else okay it will be the name of our file let's just call it test svg for now and body of our file will be our svg now we save it to the bucket and instead of returning to our api uh, the actual svg code we will just return a link to the file so okay let's deploy it and let's test and let's go to our bucket uh, you can see objects and we have one test svg here if we click on it uh, we can download it and we can even open it it will be just a black square so yeah we did it we saved svg to s3 bucket let's um, test it with postman if it still works with our api yes it returns the link to the file cool so we did it now we can save files to our s3 bucket from our aws lambda so thank you guys for watching this video uh, hit the like button if it was useful and see you later